Hi, I'm Keith Ward. And I'm Janice Goldman Picker. And I'm the owner of Keith Ward Beauty. And Janice Goldman Picker has done an amazing holiday gift idea for you. We're giving you a Keith Ward Beauty highlighting and contouring beauty palette in addition to my All About the Neutral Eye palette. And this is for the new you for 2015. So you'll have a new look, new confidence, and more money. This is my highlighting and contouring beauty palette. We start with the lightest shade to the darkest. This will go with every skin tone. I'm going to show you how to do it. This applicator is two different ends. We start with the smaller end for your highlighting. The best way to find your highlighting shade is to look at this up against your skin and look at the lightest shade. This one on Janice would be her highlighting. Okay, step one. After you select your shade, which is the lightest shade, which will be lighter than your actual skin tone, we want to take our brush and do just a couple strokes against the product, and you want to apply in the inside of your eye all the way out to your temple, all the way there, step one. Step two, we want to highlight down the center of our face. That's from the middle of the forehead up to your hairline, down the center of your nose, over the top of your lip, the bottom of your lip, and three stripes along your jawline. All right, as you see, I have all of her highlighting shades. We started with the center of the nose, underneath the eye from the inside corner, to the hairline all the way across the temple, the jawline, over the lip, and under the lip. I like beauty blenders. Beauty blenders could be found at Sephora, Ulta, Walgreens, or any of your local beauty supplies. Moisten it with a little water and start to highlight and blend the highlight in doing upward motions like so. You just want to walk it right into the skin. Part two, the contour, selecting the correct contour shade. Your contour shade should be at least two shades darker than your natural skin tone. If it's daytime for work, I would keep it about two shades darker. If it's an evening look and you want to give a more bronzy effect, you can go about three shades darker. Again, hold the palette up to your skin. This would be Janice daytime contour color. After we've held the palette up to our skin and decided that this would be just slightly darker, two shades darker than Janice normal skin, we then apply every place that we did not apply the highlight. That would be on the sides of the forehead, the cheekbone all the way back to the hairline, the lower part of your jawline, the sides of your nose, and the sides of your chin. Those are all the areas you want darker. We're going to then take our beauty blender and blend the highlight area to the contour, but without overlapping either color. Now after you have applied your highlighting and your contouring and we have set it with powder, it's time to bring a little warmth and shape to your face. I have a beauty palette that I've created which is all your highlighting and contouring. It's called the Drama. We're going to take a very neutral tan and we're just going to go along her cheekbones. We're going to just go along the sides of her nose and we're just going to softly warm the sides of her forehead just to give a little hint of color which is great for daytime. Now we're going to show you how to do a beautiful, clean, fresh, fast eye. Again, going back to your contouring palette, we're going to start with the lightest shade. That will always be your eye base. The lightest shade in this contouring palette will always be your eye base. And what you want to do is close for me, Janice. You want to apply your eye base over your entire lid of your eye from your lash line all the way up to your eyebrow, from the inside corner of your eye all the way to the outer corner of your eye. This is great because this keeps your eyeshadow long wearing, it makes the colors more true, and it evens out any skin discoloration you may have on your eyelid. Now the fun part, our eyeshadow. What I created for you guys, thanks to Janice Goldman here, we have a neutral eyeshadow palette. I included mattes and satin finish, which would be versatile for day or evening. I'm gonna show you a million ways to use this palette. First, after we have set our eyelid with our eye base from our concealer palette, we're gonna take the lightest shade, which is color number one, 
and we're gonna apply it with a very flat brush. Ladies, no sponge tip applicators. I'll get you for that. Applying the shadow over her entire lid, every place that you place the eyeshadow base, which was in your contouring palette. And you just wanna pat that on with a flat brush. It's great to use your nylon brushes for this because this just grabs that shadow. It creates a smooth finish and a very smooth base. Close for me, Janice, please. Step three with your eyes. After we have applied step one, which is your concealer, your eye base all over, step two was the lightest shadow in the palette, color number one, which goes all over your entire lid. Then we start with step three, which is creating a crease. For today, I'm gonna start off with one of our deeper colors, which is the fourth color in the palette. It's a brown, but it has a little bit of a satin finish to it. I like to use brushes like this, this is a badger hair brush. It blends beautifully. These brushes could be found at any better beauty company. You can get them at MAC or at Sephora or even through KeithWardBeauty.com. You wanna apply small strokes, close for me, Janice, and think of the way that your windshield wiper works on your car. We wanna go, we wanna keep the eye open, so we wanna do from the beginning of the brow to the outer corner and right on her brow bone. So ladies, you can hold your eye up like this and just think of the windshield wiper effect. And you just wanna go back and forth and ladies, always remember, blend, blend is always your friend. Never get intimidated with eyeshadow, it will always blend out beautifully. And you just wanna work this to the outer corner of her eye, keeping focus on your brow bone. Staining your crease color on your brow bone gives the illusion of a larger, fresher eye. Open for me, Janice. See that? Close. Lastly, we're gonna go back to color number one, and that's going to be our highlighter. But you wanna use a very small brush, okay? You want a small detailing brush. This brush, with the highlighting color on, goes right underneath that eyebrow, all the way past the eyebrow. And after you put it on, I always like to take my finger and just gently wipe the extra off, just so it's nice and smooth. All right, just to do a recap, we have applied all of the foundation as far as the highlighting and contouring. We've set it with our loose powder. We've applied the eye base, which is in the contouring palette. We've applied three of the five shadows that are in your palette. Then I took the darker color also to just perk up your eyeliner on the bottom. So not only can you use your darker color in this palette for your crease, with a flat angle brush, you can also use it to drag underneath as your eyeliner. But a very fun thing, this rosy shimmer color that's the very last one in your kit, this is a great color for eyes or cheeks. So what we can do is, we don't have it on Janice's eyes today, but you can still put this with your cheek brush, just lightly on your apples of your cheek like so, and it just gives the beautiful, most natural rose color ever. You see that? And here we go, here's our finished product. Ladies, don't be overwhelmed with feeling like, oh, I only have this two minute video, I'm not gonna get this, I am available 24 seven. Just feel free to go to keithwardbeauty.com or any social media at Keith Ward Beauty, and I'm here for all your questions. Take it over, Janice. Hi, thank you so much for viewing this video and I am committed to a, your fashion and to your finances. So in 2015, let's raise the bar on both of those and if you look good, you're going to feel good and you're going to attract more money. So at any age, let's be timeless together and let's do this together. Happy holidays. Thank you.